It's been two days since Air Canada's computer system crashed, snarling air traffic right across the country. This, as some very unlucky travelers are still trying to make their way home tonight. Meanwhile, we still really don't know what caused that massive system failure in the first place. There's cheering after having to wait more than three hours in line at Pearson International Airport. A computer glitch left travelers unable to check in at airports across Canada or even online. And those who had boarded their planes were unable to take off. Some were forced to de deplane. That led to a ripple effect of cancellations and delays into the evening. Now, airline expert Gabor, Gabor Lucas says, pa says passengers who missed out are eligible for compensation, but getting it won't be easy. What happened on Monday uh, is clearly within Air Canada's responsibility. So Air Canada is responsible for passengers' expenses, damages, meals, hotels. If they booked a different uh, airline, then that uh, flight lost wages. All those Air Canada is responsible for. Lukak says if Air Canada refuses to pay, your next step would be small claims court. Uh, Air Canada, meanwhile, says an investigation is still underway. However, they tell me that they are not investigating at this point as a crime. A spokesperson also tells me the vast majority of people were able to fly out on the Monday. As far as compensation, they say each case is different and they'll be dealing with any affected customers directly.